Good morning, friends. Lukey3262 here from theshavingcadre.com. Uh, doing a morning shave, Saturday morning. Um, I'm going to be using today um, a, um, this was a prototype brush um, from Alpha. Um, and uh, they were looking at doing a, what they called the chubber set. And um, honestly, I don't know if it ever became fruition, but um, he sent me a 3D printed brush and uh, it's a pretty cool brush, so I'm gonna go ahead and shave with it today. Uh, it's got a, a tuxedo knot in it from, I forget, I think it's AP Shave. Um, <clears throat> and then the soap today is Vintage Risley's Spruce. Um, it's, I believe it's about 50 years old. It may be 60, maybe more. Um, I, uh, had it sitting here uh, soaking to rehydrate. Um, I received this just earlier this week. Um, I think that uh, it should shave well. It's a, it's a tallow. I do have a cold, but I can discern a little bit of like piney scent from it. A little bit. Really cool bowl too kind of art deco look. I mean, it may be 1940s. I'm, I'm not 100% certain. I, I need to do more research on Risley, I guess. Um, aftershave today, Petrolon. Um, I think it'll go really well with the pine. Uh, and then gonna finish off with some Lisa's Post Shave Elixir, the uh, Irish Green, green Tweed. <clears throat> the razor today is a new one to me. Uh, CV Helgestrand MK number 24. Um, don't know if you can see it there, probably not. Um, got this in the mail. Um, all I did to it was um, take it to um, the uh, Black Arc and gave it some time on that. Maybe 10 minutes, if that, maybe. Um, it's popping hairs. We'll see. It may be a crummy shave and I may need to switch over uh, and shave with something else, but um, well, let's find out. I'm going to go ahead and get, uh, get started loading and get going. Now, this morning is just an absolutely beautiful morning here in Missouri. Um, we're talking uh, probably 70... It was probably 73, 74 um, when I got up, um, which, you know, it's springtime. I mean, that's normal. Um, so I got up uh, about 6.30 and decided, you know what? I'm going to get out in the woods, hunt some mushrooms. I mean, I always love taking my son. We went out yesterday afternoon as well. But um, it's, you know, you can be more detailed whenever, uh, when you don't bring your kid with you. But... Got out this morning, went for an hour long walk looking for mushrooms, and uh, I did okay. I found a few. Um, but, you know, it should be peak season. I just think the property that we're off of um, doesn't really have a whole bunch. Um, we are going to be going to a, uh, a park today near uh, where I live um, uh, that's uh, got a bunch of hiking trails. So we're going to go off of that, and I'll make sure my son keeps his eyes peeled for. Um, more mushrooms when we're out there, but um, we love morel hunting, and more than anything, it's just getting out in the woods. Okay, so that's about uh, about a minute worth of load time, and you can already I can already tell it's going to be a great lather. I mean, the stuff's super slick. This is great. Now, I'm sure I've mentioned this before with some of my other vintage shave soap shaves, um, especially like Yardley. If you've never tried vintage soaps like Yardley, Williams, um, uh, gosh, the list goes on. Uh, just vintage Old Spice, um, Colgate. I mean, you don't know what you're missing. I mean, stuff is amazing, especially if it's tallow-based. I mean, a lot of these things... I mean, they're just, they were primo for their time. Um, they were going up against big competition at some points, especially Risley. 
up against um, Yardley and Old Spice and Linthric and oh, I mean, there's tons of companies we don't even know about because they were, you know, they they didn't keep track of all the different companies making shaving soap back then. We pretty much just know about the companies that had advertisements and stuff like that. Well, I got a little taste of the soap. It doesn't taste any bad. <laughs> it's really smooth. It's working up nice and creamy already. No problem loading. I mean, right about a minute. I'd say we have plenty for a shave here. See how much water it can take. Mm. Now on the spruce, I've only seen it twice. Um, there is aftershave out there. I've seen the containers. But both times I've found soap. One time was on eBay and I just got lucky. And the other time was like a thread from about four or five years ago. From another forum where a guy was trying to sell it. And so I, whoo, losing it. Losing some soap. Looking great. Um, so I, uh, I wanted to have an extra puck because I don't know, I'm kind of a collector with the soaps. Um, and this stuff is amazing. Wow. Um, I wanted to have another puck to use and I knew that that guy had used it. So I contacted him and said, hey, you don't still happen to have this stuff, do you? And it's like four years later, he still had it. And so anyway, uh, got it earlier this week and um, it looks like I'm really lucky. This stuff is a, like, a lather bone. I've got a bunch of other vintage soaps I need to try out. Another friend of mine sent me some vintage Colgate soaps some harder to find ones, the Colgate Barber and the Colgate Aseptic um, recently, along with a, uh, uh, I think it's Mon Triomphe, I think. I think it's by Williams. I think I'm saying that right. I might be saying that wrong. Um, but uh, anyway, that, that, uh, that's, that soap needs to be used as well. Okay, let's see how it shaves. Um, looks like the toe is not muted, so this is going to be fun. I'm hoping I don't cut myself. Now the... I'll just ran MK24. This is a quarter hollow, if you can see here. Um, as far as I know, there are not a ton of wedge like razors made by Haldestran. Um, and I think the 24 was actually the most popular domestic model, if I remember correctly from my history. The edge is very quiet, and it's shaving fine.
I think I may take some time and take this one back to the stones at some point. Um, it's not the most sharp razor I've ever shaved with. But I'd say the, the old arc did tune it up a little bit. Now my friends at the Shaving Cadre convention are probably getting ready to wrap up the convention today, I believe. Uh, I think a bunch of them are hanging around on Sunday too, before they head home. Um, it looks like from the pictures, at least the few that they've shared, um, they've had a fantastic time, had a good showing. And even before they had this, they were discussing having a um, having a um, a cruise next year. So I'm planning on visiting that. I just like to rinse my razor wiper off before my next pass. So far the Rizzlies is extremely slick. I, I mean, I've already washed my face and my face is super slick. The, excuse me, the Risley Spruce did not dry out on my face. It is glossy and beautiful. I've already said it once. Guys, try vintage soaps. They're great. Gosh, with this cold that I have, today I feel like, uh, I don't know if any of you guys have ever watched the, sh the cartoon Family Guy. There's an episode of The Family Guy with uh, Peter where he had a uh, cold and uh, during that episode, I guess he'd stayed up all night throwing up and uh, uh, he woke up in the morning with a voice kind of like, I was on the wrong side of the raw, you know, a deep voice, you know. I feel like I feel like Peter this morning. I woke up and Irina Irina says to me, "Man, you've got a really deep voice this morning. I kind of like it. Kind of like uh, kind of like Lois." So, Lois from the Family Guy said to Peter. So, anyway.
Yeah, it was so nice last night, the weather was, that we uh, slept with the, the windows open for the first time here in the new house. Woke up, house is fresh and beautiful. We've got the bathroom window open right now, the wind's blowing in, it's great. Just an absolutely beautiful shave from this old Halgestran. Um, again, I, I, I'm not sure that this razor was ever used. It appears it was. It came in a uh, a plastic sleeve, which I've not seen too many Halgestrans come in plastic sleeves, um, which I'll have to share with you at some point. Um, but it had a sister that came in with it, identical sister in uh, its own plastic sleeve and uh, I mean very nice well-made razors just like every Halgestrand I've ever owned um, but uh, definitely later production model for sure Hodgestrand was really known for their their full hollows, uh, at least internationally. But their um, wedge razors, or at least the twenty four, was very popular domestically in Sweden. Oh yeah. So what's going on at the forum right now? Well, we've got uh, the month of March, uh, or March, April. <laughs> this is April, right? Yeah, April uh, is coming to a close on the uh, weight loss challenge that we started back January 1st. Um, so far, a lot of guys are doing really great. Um, I'm doing all right. Uh, I checked my weight this morning. I was down at 181 from, from, I think I was 210 when I weighed in. So I'm just shy of 30 pounds down. Um, doing all of that with a, mm, I'm not gonna say dirty keto, but kind of a looser um, frame of mind with keto this year. Last year I was like 233 pounds or 234 pounds when I started the challenge and I got down to uh, 184 and uh, I did a lot of that with like strict like calorie counting and stuff and that's so fun I mean it's just not enjoyable uh, and then I was working out real hard too for um, 
gosh, two months of it. And uh, I, working out's great. Going for walks and doing all that stuff's great. But uh, I don't know, it's killing me. Um, because I was on one of those programs I shouldn't have been in that was more advanced than I should have been in. Um, nothing against Beachbody, but I was in the... Beachbody's 80-Day Obsession, which... It's taught by a very beautiful woman, but, I mean, you get to hate her by about the first, um, I don't know, five days of the class. So, about five days in, about watching her move move it and and do all the things, um, it, yeah, no matter. Give myself a couple weepers right there. I mean, I said maybe I should rehome the razor, but. Honestly, I think it's plenty sharp. Give myself several weepers. That does it guys. BBS shave. Well, 
might touch my neck just a hair with the uh, with the injector for a quick second. I don't feel like pushing it too hard. I'm going to go back in the woods and don't need any razor burn or anything going on. So why not? I'll, uh, I'm not going to push it too hard with this razor today. I mean, it's got a good edge. It does. I mean, it's got a really nice edge. Um, but, uh, don't feel like pushing it again. Halogestrand MK 24 quarter hollow. 5 eighths. This version is a 5 eighths. There's a MK24 with a uh, 4 eighths uh, size, but the, and then it's got, I believe, the, I guess you call it a French point. Um, okay, so. Hit that real quick with the injector. All good. I've got several requests for videos right now for different uh, styles of razors, different brands of razors, history lessons on different razors. Uh, I promise you guys I'll get to them when I can. Um, uh, I'm still unpacking my pretty much my entire collection um, and I, I'm waiting on uh, picking up a, I believe it's called a uh, Garrister, Garrister um, case. It's a woodworking tool case, but um, I'm going to turn it into a, a razor case that has a lock on it. Um, and it, it has, it'll have, I think, 11 or tw 13 drawers on one, one part and then another four on another. But it should hold um, a couple hundred razors, I think. Um, but I want to, I want to get a hold of that because my son, you know, he's, he's going to be five. Um, in the next uh, few months, and I'm concerned he hasn't ever tried to pick up a razor, any of the things I work on, and I don't leave them out. But you know, he comes around when I'm working on razors. But I'm always worried, you know. He'll get curious at some point. I know me, <laughs> I know I was curious, and my dad always told me, don't you ever touch my knives. You better believe I did. So, I just like to make sure they're put up in a safe place, not just on top of my dresser, where if he throws a, throws a ball or something, a box falls off, and next thing you know, he's, there's a bunch of razors on the floor. Um, more about him than it is protecting the razors, for sure. Um, and again, uh, it's the... Post Shave Elixir from uh, Lisa's Natural Soaps. Um, uh, Lisa's uh, is actually, it's actually Lisa's Natural Herbal Creations. She's one of our um, shaving cadre uh, artisans, uh, vendors. So please check her out. Um, she makes a great product. Uh, I have a couple of her soaps. Only one of her elixirs, but uh, I think that'll need to change at some point because I, I have nothing but good things to say about her. Um, she's also a sponsor for the uh, Shaving Cadre Weight Loss Challenge for this month. Um, and so we need to uh, make sure we support her. Um, and uh, the person that wins the challenge this month gets a soap and an aftershave from her, or a, a post-shave elixir balm from her. Um, but uh, that about does it. Um, again, the spruce did amazing. I mean, it's just as good. I'm going to say that's really close, if not as good as Vintage Yardley, which, wow, I'm surprised. 
Um, and uh, the brush is great. Uh, Helger Strand did great. Um, this actually matches really well with the, the spruce. I think that the spruce kind of opened up a little bit as it went. I could definitely smell a little something, not much, but I mean, that goes, I mean, it's over 50 years old. Um, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please check out my uh, Friends in Crime um, from the Shaving Cadre making videos. Please check out uh, Scuttle Soap, check out Long Haul Tanker, um, uh, Spider Shaves, Rich Shaves, um, uh, uh, Long Haul, excuse me, uh, Barber Dave, uh, Handle Barber Dave, excuse me, I couldn't think of his channel, um, and uh, Nurse Dave, and on and on, I can just keep going. I need to, just need to start uh, tagging uh, those folks uh, so that you can view their videos. But anyway, thank you again for everything, and uh, please like and subscribe, um, and check out the shavingcadre.com. Uh, all right, well, have a great day. Uh, enjoy yourselves with the nice weather if you have it. And uh, I guess I'll share with you later.